Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now we will begin. Right. So this morning we were discussing something about this resistance, the factors on which the system depends. Huh? Okay. Some of now you are having the problems with the data. This our percentage increase and all of this. Huh? You are having the problems. Such a. Huh? Okay. So there's a percentage increase in the resistance. All the things we took up. Right. Okay. Now that's we will continue our discussion. Now. I would like to take up an important discussion that is the combination of resistance and with those combinations, what are the possibilities that we are going to find out and for the exam sake. Okay, in the examination find out here, what are the things okay, that we have to find out, how we have to see. But so look at this here, you see combination of resistance. Combination of resistance. Combination of resistance. Combination of resistance. Okay, so different types of combinations of resistors we will be taking up here. Usually, what about the resistors that we are going to take up? The resistors are of two types. Okay, one type of combination is some series combination of resistors, and the second one is a parallel combination. And the second one is known as a parallel combination of resistors. Parallel combination of resistors. Series combination, parallel combination. Okay, so in the series combination, what do we notice? See, one resistor is taken like this. This is the resistor, so this is the first terminal, second terminal, and then this is the first terminal and second terminal, and this is the first terminal and second terminal. Whenever again and again the connection you give like this, so this type of combination becomes a series combination. In the series combination, okay, so this is here, what happens? Okay, so this is there will be a battery from here like this, this is the plug key. The moment you plug in the key, the moment you plug in the key, what happens? The electric current passes. Okay, so this is the last week in capacitors, I do the same principle will be applicable for this, but different equations you will get now. Not same type of equations, right? Now here you see the moment you plug in the key, so the electric current passes in between these two points A and B. This becomes a okay one branch, single branch. The electric current splits whenever the electric current splits whenever huh, there is some difference in the branches, but same branch, same branch results, same amount of electric current passes. That the electric current okay passing okay this is B, this is I. So through this I amperes of electric current, even through this I amperes of electric current, even through this I amperes of electric current. But what about the potential and total potential we have? This potential will be splitting. So across this potential that is V1, across this potential that is V2, across this potential that is V3. So this type of splitting of potentials so takes place according to their resistance values. If the resistance is often you take. If the resistance is R2, you take if the resistance is R3. R1, R2, R3. Okay. Now, what happens? The same current passes. That's what we need to understand. So, in series combination, in series combination, current remains the same, but potential splits. But potential splits. Current remains the same, but potential splits. Okay. So, this is across the first one. So, what will be Ohm's law? So that is V is equal to IR. Out of this Ohm's law, for the first one, how do you write? So V1 is equal to I into R1. For the second one, how do you write? V2 is equal to I into R2. For the third one, how do you write? So V3 is equal to I into R3. But total potential will be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Therefore, total potential over here. So I into R1 plus I into R2 plus I into R3. So V is equal to I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. So furthermore, so V by I is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So V by I, total potential by total current. Okay, effective potential by effective current. That is effective resistance. Our total resistance R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is what this is what series resistance is. Okay, so if at all, the number of resistors are connected in series combination, 
then how do you say effective our civil service systems are here? So this becomes R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on up to Rn. The summation form is the English. Okay, so this is Ri sigma. Or R J you take because I we are using for electric current where J takes the values from 1 to n. Where J takes the values from 1 to n. Where J takes the values from 1 to n. So that is uh, the summation. Okay, come on, please make note of it. This is the series combination. This is uh, the series combination. <clears throat> now, working out the problems is important. Before that, let me even finish the parallel combination. Then, so problems we go for. In those problems, get across a particular resistor. Okay, currently you may have to find out the potential. You may have to find out. Okay, how to find out those things? Okay, this we will discuss now. We will discuss. Okay, now parallel combination. Now parallel combination. In the parallel combination, what kind of connection would you like to have? In parallel combination, parallel combination in the sense of, so we need to identify all the first terminals and we need to identify all the second terminals. All the first terminals are to be connected to a particular point and all the second terminals are to be connected to the next point. Okay. Those two points are to be connected to the power source. The type of connection is known as a parallel connection. So look at this here, you see one resistor I am placing over here. The second resistor I am placing over here. And the third resistor I am placing over here. Okay, now this is the first terminal, second terminal. First terminal, second terminal. First terminal, second terminal. All the first terminals to one point. That is X. All second terminals to another point that is Y. All the second terminals to another point. Now these two points are to be connected to the power source of the So this type of combination is known as a parallel combination. This type of combination is known as a parallel combination. Okay. Now in this type of parallel combination, what happens? What are the things that you need to keep in mind? Look at this. This is the potential across the battery. Now these are the two points over here. Now look at this. Okay, potential in between these two. Potential in between these two between the Yes or no? Okay, so what about the three resistors I have taken? Not even three, n number of resistors we take. When n number of resistors are taken in this way, what happens then? All the three things, all the resistors are connected because in between the two points which are having the same potential across the battery. Therefore, okay, so this when this is B. Even across this potential, we only will be there. Even across this potential, we only will be there. Even across this potential, we only will be there. Okay, but what will be different? The moment you bring the key, electric current passes. Electric current I is possible. Okay, so for the electric current, this becomes a junction. At this junction, what happens is this electric current will split into three categories, into three branches. Okay, so across this electric current there is I1, across this electric current I2, across this electric current I3. So I1, I2, I3 values will be according to the resistance values R1, R2 and R3. R1, R2 and R3. If at all, 
in any branch, if more resistance is present, less current passes. Because the current and resistance in a circuit will be in the inverse variation. In the inverse variation, Ohm's law. Okay, inverse variation. Okay, so this is here you see currents. Currents attitude. What is the attitude of the attitude of the current? What is the nature of the current in the circuits? In the circuit, wherever more resistance has taken place, okay, current tries to avoid the path. Okay, current tries to avoid the path. Am I correct? Is that wrong? Okay, just like uh, that's the information only. Okay, so one difficult problem, one easy problem, if I give you, if I give to both of you, okay, that's uh, that's both of uh, both the problems in front of you. Okay, which problem will you go from first time? Difficult, right? Easy, yeah? Huh? Easy. Difficult. Huh? What are you? Difficult. Easy. Easy. Okay. Current also does the same thing. Wherever less resistance is there. So across the less resistance region, current prefers to flow. Wherever more resistance is there, current tries to avoid the path. Current tries to avoid the path. Or, okay, if there is any compulsion, just some other current passes. Okay, so according to the values of R1, R2, R3, I1, I2, I3 will be there. But if it are, these three are equal, okay, so this will be equal distributed. I by 3, I by 3, I by 3. Okay. okay, so this is here, according to the values of these resistances, the splitting of the current takes place. And if you have these three resistors, if any one of the resistors is of higher value, higher resistance, then current will not even pass through it. That will avoid only through the two remaining two branches. Understood? Okay, so this is here, even if very less amount of current passes through the high resistance area, High resistance of branch that we can ignore while solving the problem. Got it? Like that. Okay. Now, in this particular case, the potential remains the same, but the current splits. But the current splits. Potential remains the same, but current splits. Okay. So, for the first resistor, how do you say? Ah, so, potential is equal to I1. For the second resistor, how do you say? Potential is equal to I2 R2 and the third resistor for the third resistor, how do you say potential is equal to I3 R3? Okay, now there's a from this, what do you say? I1 is equal to V by R1. So from this, how do you say I2 is equal to V by R2? And from this, what do you say? I3 is equal to V by R3. Right? But in the splitting, the total current will be Nothing but algebraic sum of these three curves. Okay, I2 plus I3. Therefore, I in this particular case is equal to V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. Okay, I is equal to V into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Therefore, I by V is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Uh, I by V is nothing but the reciprocal of the effective resistance of the circuit. Therefore, 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So, this is nothing but the parallel contribution of the resistance in the circuit. Okay, please make note of it. Now, we will take up the problems based on this combination. Now we will take up the problems. Okay. Right. Come on.
Yes. How much? Yeah. Yeah. square is to one. Yeah. square is to one. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. See, there's a look at this here. So, n number of resistors are first connected in series combination. Okay. Equal resistance R plus R plus R and so on. That is n into R. Okay. So, look at this here. I will explain. Please come. Please come. See, there's a, in the series combination. Series combination with two resistance. That is R plus R. S R and so on S R. So n number of times. So defective resistance in this case is n into R. Okay. Next, in the parallel combination, so defective resistance 1 by R P is equal to. Okay, 1 by R P is equal to R. Ah. So this is 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R and so on. Plus one by R. How many times? So the number of times. N times. So one by the effective resistance in the parallel condition. N by R. N by R. Okay. So that implies the effective resistance of R P is equal to how much? R P. That is so R by N. That is R by N. Right, the ratio of Rs and R. So this is n into R divided by. So this is R by L. So this is n square is to one. This is the ratio. N square is to one. That is the ratio. Okay. Now coming to the next thing. Next thing. Yes, come on, come on.
then applied potential is weak. I am not giving any numerical value. Applied potential is weak. Ah, wait, wait. So something else has to come in this problem. The resistances of three resistors are in the ratio of each to each to five. Calculate the currents of two each. In, that's it, then they are connected in series and parallel. When both, both you need to take connected in series and parallel. Separately you have to in series and then. Then both are connected in series and then. Yes. <clears throat> Second one, answer please. Amma? One and nine. One O and nine O's. This is what Sachin six. One O and nine O's. That is one possible answer. That is one possible answer. Same thing, Sahara, same answer, Swati, same, Lata, Pushpalata, Maheshwari, Sakshi, same, different, Sapna, You ask for the doubt now in the book. Okay, that depends upon this reason and error function. Okay, so listen to this problem, so then you will be able to do it. Still, if you are not able to do it, I will. Okay, after the class. Okay, should I explain? Second one, should I explain? Huh? No need? Should I explain or not? Okay, so look at this, the effective resistance when two resistors uh, connected in series is a 10 ohm and that in parallel is 0.9 ohm. Sagar, what's the answer? 1 and 9. 1 and 9. Okay, so this, what are those resistances? What are those resistances? Let those two resistances be R1 and R. Okay? When they are connected in series, When they are connected in series, okay. When they are connected in parallel, parallel combination, parallel combination for two resistors, okay. The effective resistance RP, okay. So one by RP is equal to R1 into RP, R1 plus R2. Therefore, the effective resistance that I am taking as R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. In this type, of course, this type of writing is applicable only for two resistors. When three or more resistors are given, like this in papers. Only for two resistors, R1, R2 can be taken as an LCM. Okay, then R1 plus R2, like that, you can take it out. So, effective resistance in parallel, RP, 0 0.94. That means R1, R2 by Ah. Okay, so R1, R2 is equal to R1 plus R2 is how much? 
R1, R2 is equal to Okay, then, okay, so this is here, uh, there's a many people, okay, I have seen many people making it very complicated, but don't do that. Simple approach I will give you, simple approach I will give you, look at this. Okay. Okay. Right. This uh, A plus B whole square. I will go for on one division. Otherwise, A must be whole square. Anything you can make. A must be whole square. Here, one modification you make plus 2AB minus 2AB you make this. That's right. Okay? Right? By means of this modification, A square plus 2AB minus 2A plus B square minus 2AB minus 2AB minus 4AB. As per my purpose, I am okay, changing the equation, algebraic equation. Okay, so a minus b whole square. A plus b whole square minus 4 b. Okay, what is this? Up to here. A plus b whole square. A plus b whole square minus 4 b. In that way. R1 minus R2 whole square is equal to R1 minus R2 whole square minus 4 AB. 4 AB means 4 R1 R2. Okay? Okay. Now, R1 minus R2 whole square. R1 plus R2 whole square, how much? R1 plus R2 is how much? 10. 10 square. 100. 4 into R1 R2, how much? 9, 9 into 4, 36. Okay, so R1 minus R2 whole square is equal to average. Okay, so R1 minus R2 is equal to how much? Okay, R1 plus R2 has already been given. Okay, so therefore, okay, that's a 2R1 is equal to 18. Two R1 is equal to 18. Okay, so this R1, then you substitute in one of the equations, then you will get then you will get R2 is equal to okay, right. So, in this type of problems, okay, so let's see here, remember, some people what they do is, uh, uh, there's a R1 plus R2, huh? okay, R1, R2, R1 plus R2 is equal to 10 in the sense R1 is equal to 10 minus R2, huh? the 10 minus R2, that's they substitute here, very, very deep. You will get, that also you will get, but you will get. Okay. Yes, this problem is over. Now, the third problem. There are three resistors whose resistances are given in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. 1 is to 3 is to 5. Okay. Now, these three things are first connected in series. In the series connection alone, you need to calculate current passing through each resistor. Not only that, potential across each resistor. Later, these three things are connected in parallel. In the parallel connection, okay, so current passing through each and potential across each. Many things you will have can in this single problem. Hold on, second. Huh? Okay, 
Yes. First, series combination. Ha. So here, there are three resistors. First resistor, second resistor, third resistor. First, you have current and next potential. Same. 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 V by nine X. Ah, uh, nine R. V by nine R. V by nine R. Potential get us first one. Potential across the first one. Okay, you should have a thought. Getting? Okay. Getting? Yes. Sahana, tell your answers. Can this watch series combination? V by 9. Oh. V by 9. V by 9. Only V by 9. Correct. Okay. So V by 9. Sahana series. Potential through the first. Simply. V by 9. Okay. Ah. Current passing through second. V by 3. Are you telling? Parallel combustion or a series combustion? Series. So V by 3. Uh -huh. Next, potentially across the second. Potentially across the second. Second also, do you see? But current? V by 9. Okay. This is V by T. Okay. Next step. Uh, through third current F. V by 9. Okay. Potential. Phi V by 9. Phi V by 9. Calculate it. Something. Come on. Current F. 9 R. 9 R you are getting. Okay. Uh, so, Kavan, I will check it out. So, you can have also answers with you. Then, both of you together, I will explain. Yes. Ah. Calculator. Yes. Parallel conversion. Current. V by R. V by R. V by R. Yes. That's all. Right. Okay. Potential. V. Next. Second. V by V R. Potential. Okay. So through the third. V by R. V by R. Potential. Okay. So, given the capital combination, the values have come. Both the values. Right. Now, let me check out. 
speed. So there are three resistances given. Okay, the ratio of the three resistances is given as 1 is to 3 is to 5. 1 is to 3 is to 5. The resistance of the first resistor is uh, okay, R. The resistance of the second resistor becomes a 3R. The resistance of the third resistor will become 5R. Ratio. 1 is to 3 is to 5. 1 is to 3 is to 5. Okay. Then they are connected in series. So this is the series combination of these uh, three resistors. This is the battery like this. Okay. In the series combination, same current will be there, but potential splits. Potential splits. Okay, this is what the universal thing that we have to keep in mind always. Okay, now in this way, so this here first the effective resistance will be So this is R, this is 3R, this is 5R. Okay, so the effective resistance in series is 9R. The effective resistance in series is 9R, R plus 3R plus 5R. Okay, 9R. Now, the effective current unit calculation that implies the effective current in series combination. So, potential is V. Okay, so V by, okay, so R, so the effective resistance. That implies the effective current is equal to V by 9R. V by 9R. V by 9R. So there is a okay, touch. Okay, so since the current is same, through this current V by 9R passes, through this current V by 9R passes, even through this current V by 9R passes. V by 9R passes. But potential speeds. Okay, potential. V1, here potential, V2, here potential, V3. So V1 is equal to effective into R1. Okay, so defective to current into R1. So that implies V1 is equal to V1 minor into R1 is R. So V1 is equal to V9. V by 9 volt. So, did you tell the same thing? Yes. Okay. Now, coming to this again, second. So, V2 is equal to the effective current into R. Okay. So, V2. So, this is V by 9 R into R2 is that implies V2 is equal to V by 3 volt. V by 3 volt. Okay, now coming to this here, potential across the third one. So, effective current into the resistance of the third resistor. IS into R3. IS into R3. Right? IS value. So, that is V by 9R into R3. How much? 5R. So, that implies V3 is equal to 5V by 9. 5V by 9. Oh, I V by 9 volt. So this is what the series combination is. Now parallel combination also we need to calculate. Parallel combination. In the parallel combination, diagrammatic representation I am giving you. So this is the first resistor. This is the second resistor over here. Okay. So this is the third resistor over here. These three things are connected in pattern with them like this. So this is R. This is a 3R. This is a 5R. Okay, so this is the potential P. Usually in the pattern combination, what do we know? Same potential will be there, but Okay, so P remains the same, but Current splits. Current splits. Okay. The moment you plug in the key, the electric current I will be passing. For this, this becomes junction. So this becomes I1. This becomes I2. 
this becomes I don't really know. Okay. Now, even in this case, so first of all, you need to calculate the effective resistance. Of course, the effective resistance is not applied directly. Okay, we can go for it. Understood? Okay, because the potential is a no. Okay, so across this potential V, across this potential V, even across this potential V. Okay, potential V. But what is the potential that we have found? What is that potential we define? So for that purpose, okay, so the effective resistance we define it. 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Parallel function. 1 by Rp. This is 1 by R plus 1 by 3 R plus 1 by 5 R. Okay, so 1 by Rp. How much now? Nah. So this is 15. Okay, how much? 23. You want to Okay. So 1 P3. Okay. So this is RP is equal to 15 R by 1. Am I correct? Okay. Now what is the current? The effective current is what? I yes. Ah, V by Okay, effective current in parallel. Okay, so effective current in parallel combination. V bar. Ah, so how much? 15 R by 23. So effective current is equal to. So 23 by ah, 23 V by 15 R. You remember this is the effective current. Now we are going to calculate individual currents. In parallel combinations, I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. After finding the individual currents, I1 plus I2 plus I3, you do, you will be getting the same thing. You will be getting the same thing. Okay. Now, now potential across. Potential across the customer. Current across the customer. So V1 by R. Okay. So I1, V1, R. Okay. So next, current, so potential across the second. Current across the second. Okay, so I2 V power. Ah. Next. Oh. Potential across the third one. Current across the third one. Ah. So I3. I1 plus I2 plus I3, you do, you will be getting this. You will be getting the same thing. Understood? So, can we get the same thing? Same values? Yes. Very good. Good. Okay. So, that is the way how we have a approach. Now, next thing. A simple network I am giving you. Okay. This is one ohm, two ohm. Okay. Now you need to calculate potential across two. And current across 
one point. So these two things you need to find. Very simple network. Yes, how much? Four, ah, this four, one, sir? Four volt. Four volt. Four volt. Four volt. Two amp. Yes, some answer has been given. Just to check these answers with your answers. What is this? Uh -huh. One by seven. One by seven. One by seven coach. One by seventeen. Ah. Uh. One by seven. And here. Okay, different answer. Different answer. Such a one is here. Saha, the answers, please. Amma? Followed by 11. I want this. Followed by 11 ampere. One more answer. Combine the third and 
Okay, so different, different answers. Maheshwari, what do you say? Hmm? Maheshwari has been suffering from since yesterday, even then. Huh? So she is sitting and she is working. Good, good, good. Great enthusiasm. Huh? Okay. Children should be like this. Student means like Maheshwari. Good. Potential, what do you say? Sahana? Ama? Same thing. Same answer. Okay. So, even 12 by 11 coach. Okay. So, one thing I noticed uh, from the two answers given by girls that uh, both potential and the current, both of these are same. Okay. So, what a great same thing. Same thing. Same. Okay. Last answer is supported by okay, Akhilesh. Mayur, what do you say? Any one of these three things will be correct. Huh? Okay. Any one of these three things will be correct. That's what I suspect. Huh? What my you? What Sajid, what do you say? Could be correct, could not be correct. If you do, okay, so more answers will make up. Okay. Right. Okay, so I am ready. I will work out. Okay. See here in this type of networks. In this type of networks, listen to it, listen to it. Everyone. Okay. So wherever potential you want to find it. Wherever current you want to find it. The technique is first of all, the effective resistance is calm. The foremost thing that we have to do is effective resistance you need to calculate. That is unavoidable. That is unavoidable. After finding the effective resistance, the effective current you need to find out. That is also unavoidable. For any network, Okay, first thing you remember, okay, what is that? The effective resistance you find out blindly. Where we have to calculate potential here or there or where you have to find that comes later. That is secondary. But again, okay, the very first thing is effective resistance. The next one is effective current. Potential will be given. Potential will be given. By using that potential, the effective current you find out. The effective current will be the same on each and every component of series. Okay, the effective resistance, the effective current will be the same on each and every component of the series function. Okay, then that gives a clue to how many things are in series combination on each same time, but potential splits. But potential splits. Okay, this is the first stage. From here, you have to go to the next stage. Everybody please. Okay, now out of that, look at this. Ah, so this is here. Of course, in this given network, only there are three resistors. Sometimes so there will be many resistors. That also I will give you in the next problems. Okay, sometimes there could be 10 resistors, 15 resistors. Like that, in different, different networks. But it, okay, so first of all, what you have to do is you have to name them. Name them. How? How to give the name? This is one. This is two. This is three. Name it. Okay. So, resistor one and two are in parallel. This complete parallel combination is in series. Six. Okay. Now, effective resistance of parallel will be defined. Okay. So, this is R12. Don't read this R12. That's not R12. Resistor 1, resistor 2. R12 is equal to how do you write R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R. Okay? 
stretch. So R12 is equal to how much? 1 into 2 by 1 plus 2. So this is 2 by 3. So R12 is equal to 2 by 3. Okay, so this defective resistance means where 2 by 3 ohm that is in between this point and this point. In between these two points, so what is the defective resistance? So 2 by 3 ohm. 2 by 3 ohm. 2 by 3 ohm. Okay, now that 2 by 3 is in between with the 3 ohm. Okay, now write like this R. 1, 2, 3. R, 1, 2, 3. Don't call it as one, so 123. R12 is one group. R3 is a separate. R123. Now, so this is R12 plus R3. Okay. So what is this? This is what effective resistance. R. R12 is how much? Two by three. R3 is how much? Three. So R is equal to how much? Eleven by three. Right. Now effective. Current I will finish. V by R. V six. Eleven by three. So I is equal to eighteen by eleven ampere. Yeah. That is effective current. Now this effective current, where do we see? Where? What about the things which are in series? In series, the current is same. Okay, so what are in series? So one, two combination and the three series. So I one, two should be equal to yes, so 18 by average. Okay, so what about the current which is passing through this complete combination? That should be 18 by 11. If you talk about this and this individually, then that will split. That 18 by 11 will split. In the parallel combination of current splits, potential remains constant. Potential remains a constant. Okay, now I3 should also be equal to A to the Should also be equal to A to the What do we have to calculate? Okay, so it's a potential across two bonds, that's a binary calculation. Okay, now in the series combination, current remains the same, but potential splits. Okay, so across this group of potential V1, across this potential V3, ultimately V12 plus V3 should be equal to 6. V12 plus V3 should be equal to 6. Okay, now V12 is how much? V1. I one two R one. Okay, so B one two. How much? I one two eighteen by eleven. R one two is how much? Already how much? Two by three. Two by three. Okay, so B one two is equal to four by eleven. Four by eleven four. One by eleven point. In the parallel combination, what remains a constant? Potential remains a constant. So, in this, what are the components which are in parallel? One and two are in parallel. One and two in parallel. Okay. So, in between these two terminals, when the potential is one by eleven, you can ask this one by eleven. You can ask this also one by eleven. Am I correct? Okay. So, we want. Found by 11 volt and even V2 is also equal to found by 11. Found by 11 volt. Okay, what do we have to find out V2? So potentially across the second, that is 2 volt. This is the will be equal to 11 volt. Found by 11 volt. Now, one more thing we have to calculate potentially across the 1 volt. There's a 1 volt. So V1 is equal to total. We got it. We got it here. Okay. Now current through one ohm resistance. That is one. I1. I1. V1 by R. 
V1 by R. So I1 is equal to V1 is how much? So power by 11. R1 is 1 mole. So I1 power by 11. Yeah. Okay. So that's the way how you have to Okay. So first of all, what do so you have to calculate? The effective resistance you find. Next, what do you have to find out? The effective current you find. Then, which are series which are that. Okay? Like that. Okay. Now, the last answer is correct. Last answer, good order. Sahana? Yes? Good. Very good. Well done. Good girl. Okay. Next network. Okay, this is A and this is B. Okay, A and B. Right. This is this is one hole. One hole. Okay. One hole. Four holes. Okay. What we have, what we have to calculate is current potential across two ohm resistor and the current across two ohms is for how much? And in this type of complicated figures, so how to estimate the series combinations and how to estimate power combinations? That depends upon current. Current, wherever it is splitting, there is pair. Wherever current is same, series.
Yes, how much? Seven? Four by three. 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 Two by three. Okay. Okay, which city? Sidhi, Maheshwari, Sahana, Sidhi, different path. Swati, are you able to understand? Yes, Anupara, Pushpalata, Mishani. Yes, Cindy? Okay. Yes, remaining people. Cindy? Good, good. Okay, <clears throat> so let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, so look at this again. In this situation, what happens is um, the moment you play the key, the electric current will be passing. In what way? The electric current passes in this I told you how to identify the series combination and parallel combination. Wherever current splits, that becomes a series. Wherever current is safe. Wherever current splits, there is parallel. Wherever current is safe, there is series. Okay, now current. Okay, some amount of current is passing. Say I imagine I. Okay, I am PS of current is passing through this. For the I am PS of current, this becomes a junction. If this junction current splits, okay, so through this I2 you say, through this I3 you say. We are not in the first law. Law, I2 plus I3 should be equal to I. I2 plus I3 should be equal to I. Okay, now I3 is moving like this. For this I3, there is no junction. Single path, same path. Even here, I3. I3 comes up to here. I2 comes up to here. So from here to here, same path. 
So, this is the same as this. Okay, next. So, these two are in parallel with this. Because of through this, some current through those two, some current. Understand? Through those two things, some current passes. Got it? Okay, now look at this. This becomes a junction. Every junction, I do, I do both things to do, combine together and in the form of I. So the current will be reaching the negative. Okay, now give the names. This is the resistor 1, this is the resistor 2, this is the resistor 3, this is the resistor 4, this is the resistor 5. Name them, like that. Okay, in this, uh, okay, five resistors, uh, what are the resistors which are in series? Two and three are in series. Two and three are in series. We can redraw the figure like this. This is two and this is three. Okay, so these two things are in parallel with The other directions. So, what about the points? X and Y. The X Y points in the circuit are nothing but this. X and Y. X and Y. Okay. Now, one is here, and four is here. Right now, this is the point. So this is uh, okay. So that's all redrawing of the given length. Understand? Okay. Now these two things are in series combination. Okay. Of values one and one. So R uh, two three is equal to one ohm plus one ohm that is two ohm. Right? R uh, two three five. Okay. So R uh, two three into R5 divided by R23 plus R5 because some these two things are in parallel function. Okay, R235. Huh. So this is two. Okay, so what is this? Huh. Two into two by one. Two. Okay, now R1, the vector resistance, R1 plus R235 plus R4. Is that? So, so this, this group and that are in series function. So R is equal to R1, how much? 1 ohm. 1 ohm. 1 ohm. 3 ohms. See how the values I have given in the beginning one. Okay, so the selection now defective current in the entire circuit. Okay, defective. So what is this four amp? And what is this so three? Four by three amp. There is defective. And what are the series combinations? Look at this defective. It means current through the first resistor. Current through two, three, and five. That combination should be perfect. In this four by three, through this two, three, some current, through five, some other current splits. Parallel. Parallel. Okay. Now, fourth one, I four. Now, what do we have a current range? Potential and current across two ohm resistor. Two ohm resistor means what? Fifth one. Number five. Number five. Okay, number five. That is this. Two ohm. Two ohm resistor. Okay, now since two, three, and this five are in parallel combination in between these points x and y, if you find the potential. That will be the potential across this two and across this complete branch. 
Let us the complete batch. Okay, so potential get us gets why I will so I will find out. So what is that? Potential get us two three five. Current across two three five into resistance across two three five. Okay, so potential get us two three five is equal to. So what is the current across two three five four by three? What is the resistance across 2, 3, 5, 1 volt? So, V235 is equal to 4 by 3 volts. That 2, 3, and 5 are in parallel function. Therefore, V5 should be equal to 4 by 3. So, did you tell the same? Yes, 4 by 3 volts. Touch. Touch. The answer is touch. Current, current passing through the touch. Current passing through the house. Okay, so let's get across this. Look at this. Ah, so in the entire group. Okay, how much current? Uh, 4 by 3 current. In that 4 by 3 current, okay, through this two how much? Current splits, parallel count. Okay, so I fly. Hello, I am ready. So this is V5 divided by R. Okay, so I find V5, how much? 4 by 3. R5, how much? 2. I5, how much? 2 by 3. Yeah. I5, how much? 2 by 3. Yeah. Correct. You are right. Okay. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now still more higher network. I will give you. Okay, with this, I will stop this discussion. Then I will go to the next concept. Look at this. Potential across the AD is equal to six volts. Okay. Each resistor in the circuit are still more idle. Oh, okay. This is something similar. What do you have to calculate? What you have to calculate is Potential across which okay, potential across six current across three current across two. What about the numbering I have given? They are not the resistance values. There is a numbering. Each resistor has got the value to work. Similar. Each. Everything is of to work.
This is the last work, the last network of this kind of discussion today. After this, I will be taking up series and parallel formation of sets. Yes, so how? Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on. Yes, such a one by five, four by five. 
Yes, we six. Six by five. I three. Three by five. Three by five. I two. Same thing. Okay. I three. I two. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Any more answers? Akresh. Ama. I three three by forty one four. Huh? Okay. I three one more value three by forty. I two three by seven. According to the nature of the network, I three I two should be the same. Should be the same. No, no. This should be different. This should be different. Two more, two more, two more. Across this four, across this two. More. Here more corrects. Let's cut. V, V H. Ah, eighteen by seven. B6 3 by 7 3 by 7 Okay, so these are the possible values calculator. What do you say? Same thing same same means which one? Big H this thing 18 by 7. Okay, B6 3 by 7. Okay. Next up, I3. Next up, I2. So, Akhilesh answers are supported by the most today. Sachin, check your answers once again. Sagar, what do you say? Bindu, take it. Ah, Sahana. Say. Different, different. Okay. Ah, now there's an idle approach. Okay, look at the board, all of you. Very simple. First, defective resistance will be different. Okay. So, in that defective resistance, potential difference between A B is given. That means uh, the battery is connected across A and B. Okay. So, this is here A B means uh, here in this direction, the electric current passes. Imagine. If at all, the electric current passes from here like this. For the electric current, this becomes a junction. At the junction, the electric current splits. Through this, some current passes. Through this, some current passes. Okay? So, the electric current is getting split. The thing is, this branch and this branch. These two things are the opposite. Again, these two currents are combining with each other with this junction. Same amount of current is leaving. When I amperes of current is entering, same I amperes of current is leaving. Okay? Right. Now, this is a complete group and this all in series. Understood? Series. Okay. In this middle group, 3, 4 are in series. This series is in parallel with this. 5, 6 are in series. This series is in parallel with this. Okay? Now, so, the effective resistance of 3, 4. R3 plus R4. So, the effective resistance of 3, 4. Okay. 
So defective resistance of three and four. Next, okay, this is one stage. Next, that P4 is in parallel with two. Okay, R, uh, P4. So this becomes R34 into R2 divided by R34 plus R2. Okay, R34 plus R2. Okay, now, uh, so how much R34? Four. Okay, so R uh, three four two. Yes. Then R three four two is a four by three on R five six seven how much? See? Okay. Right. Okay. Now Defective resistance is equal to R1, R, uh, two, three, so two, three, four, plus, no, okay, R2, two, 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 seven, I will say. Okay. So, one more thing also we have to find out over here. R234, R567, R in parallel. Okay. So, R227, R34 into R567. R Three four two plus R five six seven because both are in parallel. So R two two seven yes four by three into four by three sixteen by nine four by three plus four by three how much eight by four by three plus four by three. Okay, thanks. For my three, this for my three, two with me. Okay, so this again. So, uh, two to seven. Okay, next, uh, total R1 plus R2 to seven plus R each. Because all the three things come in series. In series combination. So R is equal to R1, R227, R2 RH. Okay, so this is 4. Okay. The effective current now. Okay. 6. How much? I use equal to how much? Ah. Nine by nine by seven. Nine by seven. Okay, ampere. Nine by seven ampere means so what do you mean by that? What about the components which are in series combination? For all series components are same current. Kind of so I I two two seven I gauge okay. This is now what do we have to calculate? Potential on gauge. Potential on gauge. Okay, so this potential will be defined. Okay, so potential on gauge. Current passing through gate into resistance of gauge. Okay, 
So potential across weight one, current passing through weight one. Resistance. So, did you tell the same thing? 18 by 7? 18 by 7? Yes. Correct. Okay. Now, what else we need to find out? V6. V6, where is it? That. C. Get across this and get across this image. The things of potential get across this. All the need to find Okay, so what will be the potential in the condition? Okay, five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. Okay, so potential across five, six, and seven. Okay, current across five, six, and seven. Resistance across five, six, and seven. So potential across five, six, and seven is equal. Hmm. Is equal to okay. So what do you say? I five six seven. How much? I five six seven. Did we calculate? We did not calculate. We calculated up to two to seven together. Together we calculate. Now that okay five six seven current we have find. Okay, first one. Okay, current we need to find. Current we need to find it. For that, one more thing can be done. So, what is that? Potential, if you want, you look at this, this group and this group, these two things are in parallel. Am I correct? In the parallel combination, same potential will be there. So, the things of potential will be across this and potential will be across this. These two things will be equal. That will be the potential in the position. Potential in between those two points. Okay, potential between two to seven. Did we ever write? Potential between two to seven. Did we write? No. We have to find out that. That will be the potential across this. Potential between two to seven. Current through two to seven into the system. Two to seven. Okay, potential between two to seven is equal to what is current between two to seven? Nine by seven. So, what is the resistance between two to seven? Two to seven. Two by two. Okay, potential between two to seven. How much? Six by seven. 6 by 7 volt. Okay. 6 by 7 volt is there for this. Same potential is there for this. Because these two things are in parallel combination. Okay. We need to find out the V6. We need to find out V6. Across this 6 by 7 volt means across this branch. Across this branch, same point. Because both are parallel. Okay, so that means some of the things I need to erase. Huh? Okay, so these um, can I erase this? I can erase this. Okay. Ah. So look at this now. V56. V7, that should be 266. Okay? V56 is for 6 percent. Right? Now, but V5, V6 are both same. Are both same. V5, V6? No, they are different. Because of series combination. Potential space. Okay, now what we have to do is across this 5 6 only current we need to manage. Current across 5 6. Okay. 
finish the building at class 5, 6, divided by. Okay. So potential 6 by 6. R56, how much? R56, somewhere, I erase one. For a? Huh? Four. Huh? Okay, so I56, how much? I56. Huh? Three by fourteen ampere. Three by fourteen ampere. That three by fourteen ampere passes through five through six. Okay, what is the meaning of this? I six also because both are in series comes. Now potential get across six. I6, R6, okay, 3 by 7, 3 by 7, correct, okay, what else we need to find out, I3, I3, okay, I3 will be nothing but I5, the 7, because the same combination, same values, 2 ohm, 2 ohm, like that. What is I5? 3 by 14. 3 by 14. Okay. What is next to I2? Where is I2? I2 is nothing but I7. I7 we did not find much. Okay, we have to find out now. Okay, so I2. We know that V, 2, 3, 4. This is about how much? V, 2, 3, half. How much? V7. 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 Seven and two, both are similar. Okay, V seven we wrote here. V seven, six by seven. Okay, in that way, V two is also six by seven whole. I two, V two by R two, six by seven by two, three by seven. So that is a three by seven. Okay, right? Okay, so you know, all such problems only one thing we have been following. What is that? Then, in the series combination, current remains the same, potential is this. In the parallel combination, potential remains the same, but current remains the same. Only this is the thing that we have been following, not more than that. Okay, only this is the thing that we have been following. What it means. Okay, now, so in this way, yes, many circuits is possible we can take up. Okay, so this is here. Okay, now we will change the topic. So far, we have been discussing about series and parallel combination of resistors. Now, same series and parallel combination of cells we have cells, batteries. Okay, but before that, this small topic we need to keep in mind, we need to understand. So, what is that? Electromotive force and the internal resistance. Electromotive force and the internal resistance. Electromotive force and internal resistance. Internal resistance. Actually, what about the things that I have taken up? Electromotive force and internal resistance, these two things are applicable. These two things are related to cells. 
Okay, these two things are related to cells. So, and what about the series combination, parallel combination of cells? We are going to discuss those things will be okay, depending upon these two. What do you mean by electrolytic force? What do you mean by electromotive force? Yes. What do you mean by electromotive force? Yes. Have an idea? Ah, such an good thing. Okay, that is the work done in bringing an electron from positive to negative. But uh, like that, uh, okay, so the conventional definition doesn't say. Conventional definition always uh, depends upon positive charges. That is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from lower potential time to higher potential time. That means the number negative pole to positive From the negative pole to the positive pole. So that is taken as electrons. So what do you mean by that? Let us speak to with respect to electron only. Yes. Okay. Our surgeon has told because we have to respect him. We can we have to respect him. Understood? Okay. How he told on the basis only we will so we will come. On that basis only we will come. Huh? Hello. Okay, now look at this. I will be taking a simple direct circuit. A simple electric circuit. Okay, this one resistance flat. Okay, this is a positive terminal. This is negative terminal. What is the meaning of positive terminal? What is the meaning of negative terminal? Positive terminal means that is the terminal where protons are present. Okay. Now, there's a terminal where less number of electrons are possible. Less number of electrons. Negative terminal means more number of electrons are possible. More number of electrons. Okay, so there's a negative terminal means more number of electrons. Less number of electrons. The moment we use switch, what is the nature of electrons? Electrons will try to go from more number n to less number n. The type of flow will keep on taking place till the number becomes equal. Till the number becomes equal. In that way, this electron you take, this electron is moving like this, 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 like this. The electron will come here. Okay, the moment the electron comes over here, the electron will be stable. The electron will be very comfortable. The electron will be very happy to be here because of comfortable Are you getting that right? Because force of attraction. This terminal wants, this terminal would like to have the electron to be there. But the terminal would like to have the terminal okay, to be there. Hello? Ah, ah yes, Satyash. Twenty four hours, sir. But you told the third now, third is tomorrow. I see. How come they change like the plan all of a sudden without any equation? Uh, I see, I see. Uh, uh, 
Now, this is, can you take a mass? Okay, okay. Physics or chemistry? Okay, okay. Do well then. Huh? All the best. Okay? Uh, when will you get over? Okay, you call me. The moment exam is over. Okay? Huh? All the best here. All the best. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Now, the moment the electron reaches the positive terminal, the electron will be very happy because this positive terminal will be providing everything for the electron, biryani and everything. Yes or no? Then, when the electron is getting everything from the positive terminal, finish. It will be very comfortable. It wants to be there only. Yes or no? Because, uh, okay. There is a kind of love and affection between this phosphor terminal and the electron. This phosphor terminal will not leave the electron. Ah, you be here. Ah, you be here. Yes, sir, don't go. Don't go. Okay. Like that, this electron, the moment it comes here, I am so I need box. Go anywhere. Because of my position is very safe, secure. Yes or no? The electron will be thinking like this. Okay. Uh, you will be thinking that oh, okay, one electron is behaved like that. Okay, okay. No. Okay. But now we have so many electrons now. But what are the remaining electrons? All the remaining electrons are still behaving. Yes or no? The moment the electron comes over here, if the electrons get stagnized over here, what happens then? In a particular, within few, okay, minutes of time or seconds of time, the number becomes equal. Yes or no? Whenever the number becomes equal, what will be the potential difference between these two ends? Zero. When the potential difference between the becomes zero, no flow of electrons. The electrons flow stops. Yes or no? When the electrons flow stops, what about the bulb that you keep here? The bulb will not go. Finish. No current. No current. Other one. In such cases, sir, what about the cell or battery that you are going to take up? The cell or battery, so that is of useless. That is of no use. That is of no use. But okay, so the, the things what about the charges the battery is supplying that lasts only for a few okay, seconds of time. Am I correct? So if the battery is uh, providing a few seconds of current, then what is the use of that? Understood? Okay, so the pins here, this battery has to be able to provide the electrical charges continuously. Continuously means how is that possible? The moment the electron comes over here, the electron wants to be there. Even this positive pole does not want to lose the electron. Even then, you need to push, you need to introduce this electron to the negative terminal. Negative terminal means a pull of negative charge. How come a single electron go that side by having the force of attraction? This electron says, oh, no, no, I don't want, I don't want, why don't want to go? Oh, you have to go. What? <laughs> you have to go. Even then you cannot go. No, no, I don't want to go because that is, that's only the There are more number of electrons. No, no, I don't want to go. Go, oh, that's you have to catch hold of the fellow and you have to drag him. Come, come, come. The electron will not come. The electron is not willing to come. That will try to go that side. You are pulling the electron this side. Physically, you need to hold the electron, you need to pull the electron. In doing so, what are you doing? There will be some work. You are applying the force. You means not you yourself, not I myself. You means what? What will apply the force? I am using the word you. You. What will apply the force? In between the two terminals, positive and negative, something will be there. What is that something? What is that something? Between the positive terminal and chemical, so negative terminal. Okay, there will be something. There will be some chemical. There will be some chemical substance. Yes or no? Okay, zinc sulfide. Okay, so that's here some ammonium chloride. But it is okay, so that's here. So, geysers will be the percent. Okay, every day, a lipo. 
Okay, that is yourself. Okay, you open that. After the battery gets over, you open that. Some black color powder like this. There's a substance in the chemical. You will be inspired to give up. Hands are certain. Because you know, tell you who used to play in that. Okay, so that used to be a great adventure. Now, the spoiled batteries we used to collect, we used to. Huh? Okay, there's a break then. Okay, from inside, two wheels will come. Those wheels we used to use. For, okay, so carts and wheels. So we used to make some carts. White color wheels will come. And one carbon rod will be there. The carbon rod we used to use as the axle. But it Okay, like that. Okay, then we were in second, third classes of this one. Okay, there's on the road. On the roadside, huh? Okay, till afternoon, this we used to play. Okay, my mother used to call, call, call. She, she used to get the vexed up. She used to get big stick. Okay, where is this for the session? She used to come. Arashan, do you play such games? You said, okay, our generation is different. Our generation is different. Go ahead, please. Yes or no? Okay, so this is here, complete. Now, the moment our mother, okay, used to see, complete black. Actually, it is here. My mother, she used to take younger like anything. She used to beat from road only. Beating only the she used to be uh, the bring. Okay, not that anger, not because of late arrival. This black. Got it? Okay, not only here, like this, like this. Okay, complete black. The carbon powder. The carbon powder. Okay, she used to take us, she used to give the bath. Then, okay, lunch. I'm sure it will be the hangama. Okay, hold it. But again, okay, the moment you open that cell, dry cell, so what about the black color carbon photo that you are getting? And whatever, you need to apply the force. I was telling you, no. You need to apply the force. You mean the chemical. Chemical has to apply the force. And what about the force the chemical is applying? The electron, okay, there's the opposite first. Because the electron doesn't want to go to medical terminal because of force of repulsion. Because of force of repulsion. But it is? Okay, so even then, chemical will be bringing what about the work done by chemical in pulling the electron from the positive pole to negative pole that is called electromotive force. That is called electromotive force. In the olden days, scientists, they used to be under a kind of confusion. So what is out of the confusion with the name came? Electromotive force, DNA. And many people used to think electromotive force, of course, of course, means Newton in terms of Newton. Okay, so this we must measure like that. There's some confusion. Electromotive force should not be measured in terms of Newton, that should be measured in terms of volt. Volt means potential. Later, scientists realized that that is not a force, that is a kind of potential. There is a kind of potential. The electromotive force is a kind of potential. But why did they come in? Why did they give the name that is the electromotive force of DMF? In the beginning, what they thought was the concept the same. What they thought is that since the electron is not willing to go to negative state, now the electron has to be motivated. Motivational force. Motivational force. That's the one. Okay, so in front of anyone, huh? anybody, huh? okay, uh, that's why uh, he's uh, not studying, uh, he's behaving, uh, then, okay, that's why they need some concepts. What again? Okay. So to say, our childhood, even in our degree, okay. So there's a teachers used to play football and like cricket and everything. Okay, so in our childhood, okay, when we were a degree, when we were a degree, degree means what so what was the age for the student? Okay, 20, 21. Okay, in the age of 21, our lecturers, if at all anyone does anything, our lecturers, so to say, in the age of 21, 21 years, boy. Our lecturers used to catch hold of that. Hey, by means of that, they used to hit them to the wall. They used to shiver. Of course, that's why he's not in the hair. <laughs> <laughs> they used to shiver. That was the motivation that. Okay, they used to hit with the blue, there's a blue light. Even at the age of 21, we used to shiver. But the man, okay, you know, child heard that. Okay, so this is here, people hardly. Used to use the scooters, bikes, the car, nothing. Yes or no? Okay, most of our gurus used to use the same thing, basically. On the road, if I walk, now also, even now, this I am 55. Now, also, if I go by chance, any of our group comes across immediately, I will get on my car. Because somehow, this is the type of respect. If at all our group comes on cycle, 
Okay, so do we need to get some to get down and do this to sign the session? Hill, okay, that's our group. Now, now, you would go to go, sir. Okay, only in the classroom. Okay, how, sir? She's a fellow. Okay, okay, that's okay. And that's why, by chance, you pay, recognize, ah, what are you, my lord? Ah, Got it? Okay, so this is the this direction. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes or no? Yes or no? But one thing I have been observing. Okay, so I take the classes in Mangalore. I take the classes in Sholapur. That is Maharashtra. I take the I am taking the classes over here. Okay, I am the permanent faculty in Hyderabad. But uh, the students, the community, if I compare, okay, the students of Karnataka, Maharashtra, these people are very very polite and respectable. They are okay. And not here, so, so boys, okay, and students, here is. Okay, so that we have been observing. Okay, when I compare, okay, those students are far better, biggest. Okay, just like small children, small children cycles. Huh? Okay. What is the thing? What is the thing? Sorry, folks. Okay, understand? So, in the olden days, that's in front of anyone. Okay, that, that, that was our motivation. Okay, so these days, what is the motivation? Okay, if you come to, okay, this is Hyderabad. Okay, mm -hmm. this is, yeah, uh, so very big, big organizations, corporates, or I guess corporate schools. There, one should not scold. There is a, okay, so now, if you want to be scold, oh, oh, say, come, sit down, sit down, sit Frustration, he will become smart. So we should not score. A beating, other end of boy, beating that. Prohibiting. Understood? Okay. In Hyderabad, okay. In the school level, college level, beating is completely bad. When there is no beating, when there is no scolding, how will the children come under the rack? For that counselor beating. There is a room for that counseling room. If at all anyone is mischievous, okay, the fiscal director, those people will identify those fellows, sir. Huh? Okay, so the, sir, they will be sent to the counseling room. Counselor will be there with the head, so just, uh, just like me, there's a French beer, and there's a okay, tie and again, shirt, very neat. Okay, okay, there's a ladies and gentlemen, they will be. Uh, uh, so, this is the man come. Okay, no, 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 like that we have to do. Go, oh, we have to do like this now. Okay, it's a bit bad. Ah, that's what, okay, right? Go. There is a concept. Motivation. Understand? Motivation. Understand? Okay, that's why in Hyderabad. Okay, so, so they will be ah, very obedient. They will be listening at the functioning room. The moment if they come out there, okay, just like dog stick. <laughs> dog stick will be there now, even if you person will try. Okay, keep it like this. The moment you reach, it's a dog stick. Okay, like this. Okay, it's happening in the Hyderabad schools. Right? Okay, that's a, even in this case, uh, in the ancient days, the scientists, they felt that the uh, electron has to be motivated for the motivation purpose, and force has to be there for the electron. That is the electron's motivation force. The electron's motivation force, that's why they gave the name that is the electromotive force. Okay? They realized that, uh, oh, that is not the force, that is a kind of potential defense, that is nothing but work done. So, John for Coulomb. Jaun for Coulomb is old. So that has to be measured in terms of old. That has to be measured in terms of old. That is very right. Then you may ask, then they could have children also. At the end of old, they wanted to change. But the moment they saw outside world, how about Jiva will see someone that's outside world? Okay. The moment they saw outside world, they were there. EMF, 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 EMF. They were just give it away. It became very fast. Just like the excellence. Even the exercise also have a connection. They saw, they observed, they found that even if we give a very beautiful name for that, people are not able to see the exercise. So they left it out. Like that, in the scientific work, they work. Some of the things which were given wrong names, but those wrong names only became wrong. Understood? This is not like this. Okay, this is something about the electromagnetic force. The symbolic representation of the electromagnetic force is Ypsilon. 
Okay, in some textbooks, some ye people use for them. So there is a thing between this. Okay, now see, look at this. Okay, so this is the battery. This is the battery. This is the positive pole, this is the negative pole. And inside, what is there? Chemical reagents. Chemical. Okay, now this when this is connected. When this is connected, so the electron will become over here, the electron will stay here. That the electron has to be brought, has to be moved by the chemical. In doing so, even this chemical also will apply some opposing force to the moving electron. So that moving electron, even the chemical also will apply some force. And what about the force? This chemical applies that opposing force is known as internal resistance internal resistance that is known as internal resistance that is known as internal resistance that internal resistance is symbolically represented by R that internal resistance is symbolically represented by R understood? okay now the electromotive force in another mode of frequency whenever you take any circuit with the cell when the circuit is open, the potential difference across the two terminals of the cell becomes an electromotive force. The moment the circuit is closed, what happens then? The electric current flows. Then the external resistance also has to be counted. Then external potential gets developed, which is called potential drop. Usually, in all the discussions, so V, we are writing no V, potential V, V stands for external resistance. Sorry, external resistance, potential. Okay, when the circuit is open, okay, the potential in the circuit will be electromotive force, that is external. When the circuit is closed, okay, then some current is used up by the network, then the potential, V, external potential. Okay, so due to this external potential directly, that is the external resistance is there. Due to this internal resistance. Is there. Now, what is the equation? What is the formula? What is the formula? Look at this. Huh. So the external potential difference is equal to the electromotive force minus huh. the electromotive force minus how do you reach? Potential drop. Okay, that is I into R. I into R. Okay, so the electromotive force, so what is this? Sir? I into capital R. Ohm's law. So epsilon minus I into star. Internal resistance. When this comes to this side, I into R plus R, which is the total resistance, the external resistance, the internal resistance. That is equal to the electromotive force. Therefore, the total current passing through the circuit is equal to electromotive force divided by total resistance. This is the form. Epsilon. If that is not permittivity, that is electromotive force. Or you can write capital E. Okay, both are agreed. So I is equal to electromotive force divided by Total resistance. Total resistance. Capital R plus one. Okay. Now cells in series. In the series combination of cells, what happens? In the series combination, what happens? This is what we have to know now. Okay. Cells in series. Cells in series combination. Sense in series combination. Okay, series combination means n and n connection. Okay, so the number of cells of equal electromotive forces and equal internal resistances, I believe. This is one cell, the electromotive force epsilon internal resistance R. One more cell I am connecting over here. The electromotive force epsilon internal resistance R. One more cell I am connecting. Internal resistance R and the electromotive force epsilon. Like this, uh, n number of cells I am making, and this is the nth cell of here, epsilon and r. Okay, 
right. Now, this is the external resistance. R. This is the external resistance R. Okay, this type of combination is known as a series combination for six. Series combination for six. Okay, now in the series combination, we need to calculate current passing voltage. Okay, now the effective electromotive force we need to take out. And the effective internal resistance we have to take out. The effective resistance we have to take out, including with this external resistance. Okay, now since all these three those things are connected in series combination. Same current passes. Okay, same current. Same thing. Same current passes, but potential splits. Potential splits. So, in that way, across this, some potential this epsilon, 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 and so on. Okay, so this here. The effective electromotive force is watch. The effective electromotive force is watch. Ah, here. Yeah. 